children can be such monsters, and Abigail proves just how scary they can be. Abigail is from Team Radio Silence, which is the same team behind Ready or Not. Horror comedy stars Melissa Barrera, Dan Stevens, and Catherine Newton as a group of criminals who unknowingly kidnap a ballerina vampire. If you like Ready or Not, you'll love this movie. It is essentially the same plot as Ready or Not, but with a vampire. What I loved most about this movie is its characters, and I think Radio Silence does a great job at creating likable characters, even if they have a little bit of a dark background. Most of the characters that we meet are criminals, so they have a dark past, and you slowly learn little bits and pieces about who they are over the course of the film. And the beginning of the film is a little bit slower because they're introducing us to these characters and allowing us to get to know them as they essentially kidnap this girl without any detail about who she is or why they're doing it. And then they find themselves trapped in this house and eventually trapped with a vampire. I think that Melissa Barrera really shines here. She comes off very likable and very strong, and she's essentially, she's the leader of the pack, but she's also butting heads with Dan Stevens' character, who also wants to be the leader of the pack, and he is a very alpha male type character, and he's a jerk. Dan Stevens plays a fantastic jerk, and he is great in this, and he's chewing up every scene that he's in. They, they do a really good job at making you hate Dan Stevens, which I think is something hard to do because he's so charming and handsome. Catherine Newton is also really fun in this as this quirky weird girl. I feel like she's really good at playing those weird quirky characters. We saw her earlier in the year in Lisa Frankenstein where she's playing a weird girl and in this one she's a lot different than Lisa from Lisa Frankenstein but I could honestly see them hanging out. I just loved her. I thought she was great in this as well. And Alicia Ware is so talented as Abigail. I was a little unsure of how this Abigail character would play out where you never know what you're gonna get with a child actor in a movie but she is fantastic. I guess she previously starred in Matilda and she just she stole the show in this because first she is this innocent sweet little girl and then she switches to this bloodthirsty vampire that's essentially playing with her food the whole night and she's just so funny like the little things she says, the way she moves, and I love how they incorporated the ballet into the film as she's dancing and doing ballet moves while she's attacking her, her, the people in the house. So funny. There's one particular scene where the criminals decide uh, they're gonna handle Abigail because they think they're grown up, she's a little kid, they can take her on, and they quickly learn she's a lot more powerful and strong than they ever imagined, and she's very smart and stealthy and there's just a sequence where she's dancing with a body and they come in and kind of disturb her and it is such a fun funny sequence because she's taken on Kevin Durand's character who is this big goofy muscle head and he's like screaming like a little girl and Catherine Newton she's punching her like repeatedly it's just ridiculous over the top moments but that kind of humor is what we get throughout the movie. Abigail really plays with her food throughout this movie and it's so fun to watch her just dance around this house. Another thing I loved about this movie is it does not hold back on the gore and the violence. There is so much blood in this movie it reminded me of the end of Ready or Not but like 10 times worse because we're seeing Abigail attack these people. These people are actually getting hurt and people die. The blood, the body count goes up in this movie and you see a lot of stuff in how long Abigail has been preying on people. I also really loved the vampire design itself because it's not just like two fangs that come out of Abigail's mouth. Her entire mouth is filled with the fangs and she looks very monstrous and scary. Love how they kind of of play with the vampire lore. Is she susceptible to damage from the sun like other vampires? Will garlic or crucifixes have an effect on her? So we kind of see how the crew of criminals deals with that and plays with the lore that they know on vampires and if it actually works for Abigail. Stakes 
get higher over the course of the movie as the bodies dwindle down and or as the bodies add up and the crew of criminals dwindles down over the course of the movie Abigail's vampirism starts to affect them in different ways I think that the movie is really entertaining and funny there were some like awkward humor moments kind of situational humor I will say that I think the movie went on a little bit too long and it kind of lost me a little bit towards the end of the movie in the third act. I felt like the movie ended a couple of times before it actually did and it just kept going and going and I was like okay can we get there now? Plus I had to pee so bad so I was just like done by that point and I was like how can it keep going? It was also a little bit predictable in the end or throughout the movie. You knew who was going to make it to the end, who was going to be the final person, and how it would kind of play out. Although I do, I will say that there were some nice surprises added into the mix of the outcome of some of the characters. I think that some of the messaging was a little heavy handed. Like they have some sweet moments, but after a while, it's like, okay, I get it. Like Melissa Barrera's character is a mom and she's supposed to be strong struggling and there's just long moments dedicated to that and I'm just like okay isn't there a vampire like on your ass and you have enough time to do this thing that you're doing and reflect on your life as a mom I don't know I was just like I get it but it's it's a little much for me despite all that I think that the movie was really enjoyable and fun and I didn't feel too long up until the last act because I thought that the pacing was really great in the beginning because we jump right into meeting these criminals seeing them kidnap the kid and bringing Abigail to the second location and then they're there for the night and then we get to know them and then the stuff the action kicks in with Abigail. It was a blast, really, is the best word I can describe it as. I feel like it's a very rewatchable movie. I don't think it's as good as Ready or Not. I think Ready or Not had a stronger premise, and I loved Samara Weaving as the final girl. Overall, I loved it. I think this is one that you should see in theaters because I think it really thrives on that crowd environment. So I highly recommend you go see this to th in theaters. I think if you go into it knowing it's going to be a fun silly movie in the same tone as Ready or Not, then you'll really enjoy this one. I think this is going to be another movie on the list of best horror of the year. We are getting spoiled and I'm very excited. So let me know if you've seen this one. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and thanks so much for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.